Hey, friends. Hi. So what is this? I know. A new game on the channel. What can this be? Is this a scam? No, it is not. We are playing Prehistoric Kingdom today, guys. Yes. And as all the other games we play on the channel, here I am completely uh, rookie. Like, I have literally no clue what I'm doing, so it is great. So I'm gonna, like, for the next 20 minutes, sort of trying to tell you about what I'm doing and how I do it. And, you know, the same old thing. But we're playing Prehistoric Kingdom. One thing that is good about this game is that it is very basic uh, when it comes to the controls of Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. So we are not far from having the same sort of building mechanics. Except for one thing, as you can see on the screen here. There's scaling. Yes. So here we can uh, sort of scale a lot of the pieces so we don't have to use so many pieces to build whatever we feel like building which is an awesome awesome thing and i'm really starting to try to get the hang of it and also trying to that is an extra feature in this game because uh, i don't really think about it as much but what we're doing today guys is a habitat but first we're building like some sort of a little uh what can we say cabin lodge uh you name it like i like, I feel like it has like some sort of a little bit of a asterisk and obelisk uh, vibe, this build when we're done. Uh, and I think whenever we get lots more pieces for this game, then that's where it's first gonna start take off and where we actually first gonna start uh, getting our creative juices going, as we say. Uh, so yeah, I'm very rookie at this and I've been streaming this two times on stream already to like get to know the game a bit And we had some ups and downs with this game, but uh, I think it's just We just need to get uh, used to it and sort of get into it and trying to see if we can Variate it between Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, Prehistoric Kingdom, Sims 4 and all the other games that we play on the channel uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what is happening um, today, guys. So I'm just trying here to figure out what I can do, trying to like make uh, these pillars look all nice and cool, so it literally looks like they're like stacked on top of each other. Uh, so yeah, nothing's too fancy, honestly, guys. Literally nothing too fancy today. I put down the speed just a little bit less, um, so you guys maybe can see a little bit what I'm doing instead of just completely crazy fast when it's a whole new game so i'm trying to put down a little bit and trying to keep in what i'm doing and kind of like how i think about this sort of while we are we're building i first of all i love the scaling it is something that you really need to get used to but i can definitely definitely tell that this is something that i'm going to be very very fond of in this game and it's also literally what's make me want to build this game and see where does it take where does my creativity takes me now when i have to think about another thing i can actually scale things and um, it's not like an entire build like let's say i build this then i can't scale this it is only small pieces or the same pieces in a grid or a group that you can that you can build here and as you can see here i'm really having fun with it now by sitting and adjusting the rocks here to get like a cool rock texture to this guy and yeah i'm really um i'm really Super excited for this and I've been talking about this game for a while on stream and in my community uh, And hopefully we, we will be a lot more people playing this game uh, Whenever we will actually get more pieces and etc um, Into the build uh, or into um, The game itself Wow So um, this is uh, from Broom Meridian uh, Which is the uh, developer um, Which is super cool I have not heard anything from them before But I'm pretty sure that we got something something super super cool in store for us guys so uh, just keep an eye out on this game and if you want more content of this remember to like the video give me a comment down below uh, and then we can see what else uh, we can do in the in the start so what you will see first of these first videos that i will post will mainly just be me figuring out the game figuring out what can i do where's my limitations uh you know like we always do with these sort of creative games and whatnot I did build a little bit of, um, of two habitats uh, beforehand on stream, as I said. I did a little bit of cinematics for the mammoths. You can also see them in the background a bit. But um, 
I'll make sure you guys get a little bit of shots of that too, so you can sort of see how they look. Because the animals in these games are freaking pretty. They're really cool. I really like them. They look really, very, very nice. And there's this sort of, there's this sort of super cool, um, like when you have to put in, uh, foliage and stuff, you can like make a, uh, like do pathing, like do terrain. It is literally just a brush you have, and you can just like take it wherever you want instead of placing singularity trees. And you can even also do that. The options. There's so many options in this game of what you can do. Do you want to be lazy or do you want to be more creative and actually place every single piece you want? Uh, and I can definitely tell that this is a good feature because let's say you want to uh, be in the campaign stuff, right? Uh, but the campaign sometimes can be a little bit boring and tedious. So if you just want to fast forward and you just want to earn some scenery points or foliage, then you can literally just, just do that. You will see a little bit of examples later on in the video, guys. Uh, where you can uh, sort of see what it is I'm talking about here. But yeah, as I say here, like I'm really having fun with this build uh, right now because I, I was struggling a bit with it on stream, but I sort of figuring out how to do things and I also changed the keybinds a bit so it's very more similar <laughs> to Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. So literally, I won't feel anything besides the scaling when I jump back and forth to the games. Uh, right now the game is in early access and they have a roadmap of what kind of things they're gonna add I also think we're already gonna get some new pieces this month or is it in June? I can't remember but they have a nice roadmap of stuff that they are They want to put into the game. So there's plenty plenty of, of stuff to look forward to and uh, As I say, I think it has a great great potential to become something as equal as Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster Not at this stage. No, 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 because I can already feel like like ideas wise, my ideas is not really popping up with these sort of materials and textures and stuff we have so far. But it is very, very cool though on how they're doing this, how they're approaching this. Uh, I'm not really building anything with walls today, but take a sam example that we have a blank wall, like a canvas. That is what we have. We have 12 different segments of that. We have an arch, we have pillars, but all of them has 12 different textures you can add on. So see it as a billboard, but not really, but as just, you can change the wall texture. A bit like brick walls, wood walls, uh, marble, uh, plaster. You have all these things, so literally you just have one piece, but it can be 12 different pieces of how the textures are. Which is super, super cool. I think that is something that they're gonna win a lot of points with, that, um, that you can literally just do that. And maybe it's also a thing for optimization for later on that you can add your own wall textures, I would assume that it would make a lot of sense, right? So what you're seeing me do here in the background still, guys, are literally just this sort of little log cabin sort of thing with like a custom-made chimney. And then I just literally just go ham and try to figure out stuff here on, uh, on how I want these guys to be. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm just having fun with it right now. And I feel like the more I build, the more I get to know the pieces, the more I get to know uh, what how they work and the more I get into the whole uh, scaling situation here because it is something you really need to remember it is in this game I was building first on stream and I was like just building using small locks and stuff and then like someone mentioned hey can you just scale them yeah I can so um so yeah there's some little things you need to get used to of course with this but I can definitely recommend you that if you have um, like it's 25 bucks right now on uh, Steam it's early access, so that means that the game will be in development for quite some time. But at the same time, they will keep on working on it. They will keep on fixing it. And before you know it, the game will be out and it will actually be full price. And you also do the company a favor by supporting them and, you know, go in and, and give them some love and try the game out. Because I find it funny. I found it super nice that it is very similar to Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. So it's not far from it. So you will actually have a chance to actually be able to build stuff in here uh, and I gotta say that uh, it is cool to actually be able to to build something for for prehistoric animals as we did in uh, Zoo Tycoon back in the day where we could get the DLC pack with that and I've been missing it like um, there's just some cool things about prehistoric animals especially the mammoth which I saw and then we hopefully will get bunch bunch of other animals um, later on uh, also a lot of dinosaurs etc maybe next time I will do a, a habitat of some dinosaurs. I don't know yet, maybe the Brachiosaurus or something. Uh, we will see guys, but what you have to remember now is this park, this zoo here I'm doing, uh, will not be anything like, 
this will be me like I did with uh, with um, Wix um, Wix Subland, <laughs> uh, where I literally just learned the game, learned how it all works, the mechanics, the controls, you know, trying to get good at this, as they say. So. The terrain work is also pretty uh, weird right now. I think it's a little bit buggy, but it will eventually also uh, work better. But as I say, the terraining, uh, placement of trees, how you turn things around, uh, the fencing, like all of it is just like, and as you can see those big rocks there in the background, that is a one rock guys. You can literally scale it upwards. So it becomes almost like a mountain. And it is so cool. Imagine all the hours you don't have to place every single goddamn rock to make a mountain. Or you can terrain. But just... It literally does so much, man. Like, so much. And it's really, really nice to have that feeling. That you can just do that and not go in and use, like, so much time on stuff that are just... You can literally just duplicate. But now you have a rock, you can make, make a big ass rock and then you just have a mountain. So it's pretty cool. So guys, the habitat I am gonna do today is for this Smilodon that we are gonna try to make. I was kind of thinking about, you know, like Ice Age sort of animals, but we don't have them all right. So, uh, but I was just trying to figure out something like that. So that's what we're building today. Uh, and they're really really cool. They are super pretty in this game I try to get some close-up shots of them so you guys can sort of see how they look and such um, But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really um, really happy for how this entire habitat I did actually ended up looking and as I say it's um, It's very different from from how you do uh, In Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster just in general on, on how things like you just place the animals in here uh, there's not really any keepers yet. The, um, the game doesn't have a workshop either, but they are working on it and hopefully they will have it up here before or like at the summertime ish, it definitely says on their roadmap. Um, so, yeah, uh, we might have some good stuff in store for us, guys, as I said, right? So, as you can see here uh, with the whole mountain here, I'm trying to make a mountain and I'm really scaling up. Um, the rocks here so you can kind of see what it is I'm talking about how they actually just do and become such a cool uh, viewpoint uh, to become uh, mountains because the rocks here are really cool how they stack them on top of each other already for you like to get that super cool texture and it really makes it nice to work with these rocks as well as it is in Planet Zoo and um, of course now Planet Coaster's uh, rocks are definitely definitely bad compared to the games we have now uh, but we can only hope <laughs> But uh, yeah, just trying to add a little bit of stuff. There's not a lot of clutter in here either. So it's very difficult for me to figure out what I could place around the building. So it mainly just became nature stuff, you know. Um, I do hope eventually that we were going to get some, you know, like the common uh, natural clutter as barrels, crates, you know, like bonting and all those kind of things. Because they just really work well, you know. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that's something that we are going to do. As you can see here, this did a little custom fence as well for the mammoths on stream. Um, and here I'm trying to do the whole brush thing with the trees. And then if you don't like it, you can always just remove it again. Everything is just super cool. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I dig it. I really dig it, guys. And then now here I want to try to do some sort of a waterfall. Or no. Well, yes, a, bit, a little bit. Um, and as I said, the terrain here works uh, differently on how it usually works in, uh, yeah, as you can see here, you literally, whenever you do water, it literally makes the terrain for you. Uh, it doesn't just do it in the ground. Like you don't have to dig out something and then add water. There's literally just water in the terrain you add right away. So it's a little bit difficult to, to figure out how, the, uh, how it works like that. But with some time and some effort, uh, we can, we, we got it, we got it to work. As you can see here, the water though, on the other hand, looks very nice. Even in the nighttime, it, it shines up. I don't have any nighttime shots for you guys. Um, but you will get eventually. But yeah, as I say, I'm hoping to uh, get this series uh, running and uh, try to have it on the channel and try to get better at this. Uh, of course, I, I need to get some uh, ideas and what I can sort of build. And, and it might just be a little bit of chaotic sort of zoo we're starting with here. Uh, but I will try eventually try to try and like make some nice transitions and try to make it all look nice. We'll also get some new pieces while I'm building this all the time, right? So, um, we we're not bored yet, okay, guys? Okay, good. Um,
But yeah, it's even when it comes to trees, you can like even scale those too. Like there's so many <laughs> cool options for this. It is really cool. Um, so, so yeah, I feel like that if you guys really need like something new to uh, to check out and see how it works, then I would definitely say that Prehistoric Kingdom is a it's a it's worth a shot for you guys. Uh, if you wait for it uh, after early access or a little bit longer, I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, I I do have my fun with it, and as you can already see now, I do feel like uh, this habitat that I did here actually turned out pretty pretty cool. Um, and uh, you will also see some of the pieces here that I'm using, what we already have and whatnot. Um, but we don't have a lot. But if you have a cool imagination, if you are creative, then that should not be a problem. Because if you think about it, the old pieces we have, can we sort of scale? So it kind of like doubles up what we have in a way. Uh, it's just the same sort of pieces, but just in different scaling. Um, but yeah, as I said, maybe Brachiosaurus next time I will do. Uh, and then we will see how that works. Uh, and then just keep on uh, making some of these. And if you want to catch me on stream too while I play this as well, you should come by or you should uh, join our Discord as well. We have a few people in there that has already started playing this game and uh, and yeah so um potential guys lots of potential here i also did a few lampposts custom lampposts as you can see i just placed them around and maybe you'll get to see them on the cinematics and um, but if not then you'll see them next time it's very difficult for me to uh, as i said to figure out what kind of see i was trying to here to make my custom bouncing but these guys glows they, they glow i just don't like that at all but yeah, with some a little bit more practice, a little bit more um, builds and etc. I think we are gonna slowly get there, guys. So we can actually build something pretty cool. I got some cool uh, ideas in my head that I uh, wanted to build and how we could do it. Uh, and eventually, uh, I can sort of put out a layout and stuff. And if you guys have any suggestions or ideas or anything whatsoever that you would like to see me try build in this game or an animal you would like to see me try to build a habitat form then let me know in the comments down below guys i would love to hear what you guys think and also what you just think of the game itself do you play it um what is the perks and what is the, uh, the disadvantage of of this game what is what is your go on this let me hear all your comments down below guys because uh, it's always nice to hear other people's opinion when you have a new game out and uh, and stuff and as you can see uh, slowly adding a lot more foliage now we're doing it single here because we don't want to just brush it away and just you know spray it everywhere we can we don't want that <laughs> we don't want that so uh, we're just slowly adding a few locks here here and there doing some terrain work trying to hide the fencing uh, or at least the, the concrete barrier there i do feel like i've heard that someone said we're going to get a null barrier soon so we can sort of just make fake uh, fencing as we do in planet zoo as well because that is a plus that is definitely a plus to get in this game definitely so here we have some uh, some fire pits here you can see they look a little bit prehistoric i really like how they did that with some coal coal lumps and stuff on it here i'm just adding some smoke to the chimney which was pretty difficult because you can't really see where you uh, where you place the smoke um it was a little bit difficult for me to do that but i do already have as i say some cool cool things in mind that i would like to try build in this game since we have the whole scaling i think a lot of options are available to us so there we go guys that was pretty much just what i have for you guys today in uh, prehistoric and the video is a little bit long because as i said i put down the speed a bit so you guys can sort of get a vision Maybe a better view on how things work here instead of just like, here's a new game, here's my build, and you can barely see what I'm doing. Uh, so I, I've been trying to keep it a little bit slower, guys, for you. Uh, just And then eventually we can sort of speed it up a bit more when we get, when we get good, right? Exactly. That's how we do it. <laughs> so, so yeah, anything you want to say, guys, let me hear down below. Give the video a like if you would like to see more prehistoric kingdom content. Because then I will hopefully not disappoint you with stuff. And we will obviously also have Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, all the other games running as per usual. They will not go anywhere. This is just another thing for us to put in onto our repertoire and play some, get better and uh, get some creativity going all the way around. So, here at the end I am just trying to figure out what kind of pieces I can do as well with this and then... And just trying to add it so it looks nice, presentable. 
and I feel, really feel like it does this here at the end uh, of the video. It's super cool to see a habitat uh, come to life like this when you've just been working on it um, an entire day, right? This is like three or four hours work, I think, uh, over two days. So, but yeah, my final verdict, guys, so far is that I really like the game and you can definitely expect to see more of this content on my channel. And hopefully with more stuff added to the game, it will only, only get better from here and out. Um, from my point of view, I didn't have too many box. I didn't really feel like there were too many box. Uh, well, I just don't know what kind of box I have to look for, to be honest. There are some dinos that like to spin a lot, but uh, but it is nice to, to do a spin once in a while, isn't it? <laughs> but anyways, guys, we are at the end of the video here now. I really do appreciate you guys for checking out this video. Um, and yeah, I uh, hope that um, you liked it. And I really... I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with how the build turned out, at least uh, for now. Um, and hopefully next time we can build something even cooler. I just need to brainstorm a bit and see what we have of options. So guys, yeah, I will be keeping on building in this zoo here. And then eventually uh, we will have a big nice zoo at the end with a lot of cool prehistoric animals. So yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. And... Um, Stay awesome, stay cool, enjoy the cinematics and uh, all links and all you need to know is down below. Take care homies, a goodbye.